Realtors, mortgage bankers, and home builders were all pushing for an extension of the first-time homebuyer tax credit. And today, President Obama signed that bill into law. But real estate executives still see pain ahead. CNBC's Diana Olick has the results of a rather disheartening survey. Diana. That's true, Melissa. Residential construction continued to bleed jobs in October, according to today's report. And it doesn't end there. A new report from Grant Thornton finds only 12% of real estate companies plan to do any kind of hiring in the next six months, despite the turnaround in home sales. Now, 55% of real estate execs say they expect headcount to remain the same, and 33 expect to shed even more jobs and those same execs say they are reducing costs in other areas 63 percent say they'll reduce bonuses 42 percent will cut health care benefits and 58 percent will reduce raises and the results well over the next few months just over a third of real estate executives expect their company's financial prospects to improve 39 percent say status quo and nearly a quarter still think things are going to get far worse now remember of course that this survey was taken before today's signing of the bill by president obama of the extension of that home buyer tax credit and its expansion to move up buyers. But most people in the real estate industry expected that to pass. And so you got to factor that into their thoughts, Melissa. All right, stick with us, Diana. Depressing but interesting news. And as we said earlier this morning, President Obama signed a measure extending and expanding the home buyer tax credit, um, which will now run through April of next year, and also including um, some incentives for existing home buyers looking to buy. For more on its impact and whether it will fuel the recovery in the market, we welcome Margaret Kelly, the CEO of Remax International. We also have Fred Glick, president of U.S. Loans and Mortgage and U.S. Spaces, with us, and Diana sticking around. Margaret, let me start with you and quickly ask you, because you are the CEO of Remax, what you thought of what Diana just said. Does that make? Is that what's going? on in your company? I mean, would you not want to hire anyone anytime soon because things are still pretty down? She mentioned cutting bonuses and health care um, and pay. Does that sound right to you? Well, most realtors are actually independent contractors, so they're entrepreneurs themselves, and they are more than welcome to come into the company. But we still see a tough market ahead. Foreclosures are still high. Prices are low. But we are very excited that this tax credit was signed today. It's, it, to me, it's a huge vote of confidence from the Senate, the House, the President, that they are willing to put money into this economy to help stabilize the market. Okay, well, Margaret, I mean, first of all, the government putting money, it's, it's me putting money into this market because it's taxpayer dollars that are going to give this tax credit to other people, but that's okay. Um, l- let me ask you, are you just buy- borrowing buyers from the future? I mean, do you think you're really bringing in new buyers that wouldn't be buying otherwise? I think we are bringing new buyers in because we priced them out of the market when the market got too hot before. Right now is a good time to buy for a lot of people because prices are low, interest rates are historically low, and you've got a huge inventory to pick from. And so by having this tax credit, not only for first-time buyers, but now for current homeowners to give them the opportunity to move up is going to help the economy. The economy can't recover until housing recovers. This is a good step. Okay. Fred, do you agree with what she just said? I mean, she also said that, you know, people were priced out of the market. But, in fact, a Goldman Sachs report recently showed that government efforts to help the housing market have actually raised prices um, by 5%. The tax credit, they think, adding about 1% to that. Well, I think I'm in agreement with the people who say they would have bought anyway. There is no way to monetize the tax credit, so you had to come up with down payment, closing costs, or get a seller assist to help you buy a house and then get the money back. And the mortgage rules have been getting tougher and tougher and tougher. So my idea, and everybody in the real estate business is going to hate me for this, but I say repeal the tax credit. Let's work on getting the mortgage system a heck of a lot better, get more people back who are buyers. We saw 10 and a half unemployment. We saw an election on Tuesday where people were saying, hey, we need jobs. And you know what? Jobs is going to bring an economy back, not housing. Housing participates, but it's not the whole thing. Diana, you're the objective reporter with no dog in this fight. What do you think? What are you hearing? (laughs) Is this credit bringing in new buyers, or is it borrowing people from the future? Well, I got about 20 emails from all the analysts that we talk to on a day-to-day basis, and what I basically am hearing from them across the board is that they feel that much of the demand was pulled forward this summer when we saw the market really juiced when people thought the extension of the tax credit wasn't 
going to happen or they weren't sure if it was going to end in November. And we saw those sales happen over the summer and into this fall and that that was 2010 buyers that were being pulled back to 2009. What I do agree with is I believe that the mortgage rates are going to be much bigger of an issue than this one time home buyer tax credit. Because if we see when the Fed stop, when the Federal Reserve stops buying mortgage backed securities and mortgages from Fannie Mae, if that pushes mortgage rates up even one percentage point, that's going to be far more detrimental than the benefit that you're getting from the tax credit. Fred, I mean, you're with U.S. Loans and Mortgage, the CEO of U.S. Spaces. What do you think? I mean, you're in a position to make a judgment on that. Is Diana right? You know, I think the mortgage rates are probably about one and a half percent too high right now. We should be basically helping everybody get in as low as they can. We should be helping people refinance, even though they're upside down, if they got great credit and great income, let them save 200 bucks a month and throw it back into the economy. Just the mortgage giants have been making this impossible, and they're shutting so hmm. many people out, both on the purchase and the refi. Because if more people can refi, they might stay in their house. Oh. Inventories goes down. Let's. Fannie Mae did a great thing the other day with keeping people in their house by trading deed right. for leases, and that's the thing. you got to get the supply down. But here's the problem with that. That's how we got in this mess in the first place. Margaret, help me out with this. I mean, you have the <laughs> FHA backing loans again with only 3.5% down. I mean, giving out easy loans is how we got here in the first place. Doesn't well, that worry you that we're reinflating that same bubble all over again nah. just to save the current housing market? Come on. No, I'm not saying go back to 100% stated income, negative Three amortization loans. 3.5% is too little. You know what? Let's go to five on it. I don't have a problem with the FHA going to five. USDA is doing zero percent. Right, exactly. One hundred and two. Margaret, come on. What do you think about all this? Oh, I think that we need to get tighter mortgage standards. You know, the fact is, before it was it was way too loose. You you didn't even have to prove that you were working or what employment was. We need to get back to guess what? You have a down payment. You have a job and you prove it. But Absolutely. at the same time, if these were normal times, I would love the free market to just do what it needs to do, but these are not normal times. And our economy is so fragile right now, we do not want to go back into a recession. The fact is, we may be textbook out of recession, but the American people don't feel it yet. And what we need to do is give them the confidence in housing and the economy to get back in. And if that means a tax credit will get them into the market sooner, I'm all for it. Diana, on the loan side, are we reinflating the same bubble? I'm really worried about this. I think we're having some issues on the loan side. I don't think enough people are paying attention to the foreclosure issue. It seems like it's old news that we don't, okay, we've got the loan modification program in place. Banks are doing all they can. Okay, people are still staying in their homes. We are going to see a new wave of foreclosure closures after the end of this year because the banks are going to start ramping up on taking in those REO properties. They've been holding off. They've been trying to get people into loan modifications. Next week, we're going to see what's happened in last month in the modification program. And we're also this month going to find out how many in those trial modifications have actually fallen out. That is oh, no. redefaulted. And when we see those numbers, which I'm hearing may not be very good, then we have to see what that is going to mean for the inventory in the housing market. When you see more foreclosed properties, up to 7 million some are predicting over the next couple of years coming into this market, which is already weak. We Diane, need to pay more attention to that. Real quick, yes or no, Fannie and Freddie, are they sitting on a bunch of loans that are still going to go bad? Do they have a whole bunch of stuff that we haven't even seen go bad yet? People say that. I'm not sure. Is it true? I expect that Fannie and Freddie have a lot of loans that they're trying to work into the modification process, but ultimately are just not going to work because you can't do a modification if you don't have a job. Okay, thanks to all three of you for joining us. We really appreciate it. A lot of good Thank information you, there. Thank you.